Hey guys, today I'm talking about digital minimalism. If you're anything like me, you spend a hell of a lot of time on this device. I made a decision towards the end of last year to start cutting out all of the social networks that I seem to be scrolling through. They seem to be taking up far too much of my time and my ability to concentrate just wasn't there. There's lots of videos on YouTube about you know, digital diets and digital detoxes, digital minimalism. It's because people are kind of, I think, driving themselves nuts on this thing. Now, it's not going away anytime soon. We absolutely love our phones. They've become part of our lives and I wouldn't be surprised if in the next 10 to 20 years they become part of us, as in physically part of us. But what you can do is control your consumption as much as possible so that you can start doing other things. I just went upstairs, had a shave and a shower, and in between all of that, I didn't stop checking my phone. I did obviously make a point to demonstrate that, but that is what my typical day is like. In fact, it's from the moment that I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is check my phone for what's the time. This video is going to be a quick summary of the things that you can do to become a digital minimalist. So the first thing that I did was started to delete all the apps that were consuming all my time. I started just removing them one by one and at the moment I literally only have one social network on my phone at the moment which is Instagram. While it's probably the most distracting of all of the social networks, I came up with a way to have it on my phone which works for my needs. Well, I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook, I don't spend a lot of time on TikTok. I mean, that was one of the first apps I had to go. That is the most mind-numbingly, insanely addictive app that I've used to date. They are eating up your time that could be better served doing something else. I've left just the one app which is Instagram but what you'll notice is that I really have two screens of apps and most of those apps are actually things that control my drone and my GoPros, Canon. They're useful apps for me who likes to tell stories. They're the things I need to have on my phone. What I haven't got on my phone is I generally don't get email, have YouTube, I don't have Twitter and Facebook. If I need to access them, I go through the browser. Otherwise, I do all of that stuff when I get on my MacBook. To control my urge to scroll endlessly on Instagram, 
I went and started purging. I realized that I'm following a whole lot of hot girls because they're hot. I'm following a whole bunch of people seemed interesting and whatever, but they haven't posted for a long period of time. I was following brands because I did a bit of work last year. The place happened to have 20 something beer brands and their respective events. Uh, I took all of that off and I've managed to be under 100 people on Instagram and the people that I follow now, the people that inspire me, they are my friends, they are some of my colleagues and there are people that I care to know what they're doing because I like what they're doing. Things that I've done on other networks is for example I got a Chrome plugin and I'll leave a link below because I'm not sure what it's called. This Chrome plugin actually removes your Facebook feed so you can still go and view your friends, you can still go see your, your timeline, you can still go respond to people, you can still be updated, which is the biggest, one of the biggest reasons why I like Facebook is just to be able to see what somebody's doing, know when it's their birthday, uh, get some kind of some messages from them from time to time. But most of the time, I mean, I don't really care to go down that rabbit hole of scrolling up and down the feed so it actually removes the feed and it actually puts inspirational quotes things like twitter i haven't been a fan of for a long time you know the moment that people started bickering and people started manipulating things uh, you know politically it just it lost interest for me anyway so i've managed to cut that out i would assume i haven't really been tracking but i assume that my screen time has reduced has it stopped entirely? No. I still have this really bad habit of picking up my phone constantly to see who's messaged me. Almost I run through a routine of kind of looking for something like I'm, I, I feel lost. Like you've taken it away from me and I don't know what to do. And so it's definitely been quite difficult to break the habit of picking up the phone all day like this routine is just too much and i mean the whole way that we constantly like just head down and looking like this wherever we're going it's no wonder we don't hurt ourselves a whole lot more i mean i try not to even use my phone when i'm in a car you know i live by that belief that be focused on each thing that you're doing and so when i drive i believe i should drive when i'm in a meeting i'm in a meeting when i'm doing email I'm not on my phone you know I'm doing email and so each task I really try to be quite focused so if that means leaving my phone downstairs so that I don't check it every five seconds while shaving and showering and everything else then so be it our ability to stay focused I think is diminished and I think we have a responsibility to ourselves to start doing things that are going to exercise that side of the brain again because I mean I can barely get through a TV show never mind an actual movie these days my attention spans just totally gone and I was never really good at focusing anyway my name is Craig Jamison thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool